Okay, guys. Fairly productive day. Basically, all I did was uh, open that up to a relatively square hole, which was able to lower my speed across that turn quite a bit and picked up a, a good amount of uh, of flow. Let's uh, let's compare them pluses and minuses. Okay, as you can see, that worked out pretty well. We got uh, we got pluses everywhere, and you can see by the string. Our flow is going just like this, right to that sharp edge, and then out. I actually found out something interesting. I I'm, I goofed up, right? See the flows with the X across it? I forgot to tape this runner. But you know what? Take a look at how high the flows are. So even though it was a mistake, I learned how much flow will go through this runner. Now, think of it, it was pulling air this way, right? And it's pulling air this way. It's different dynamics, but from this point on, I get over 200 CFM through that. So, that's not my restriction, right? As of right this minute, this sharp corner, I think, is my restriction. This branch, I actually measured it. It this branch has got decent uh, minimum cross section, so this branch isn't really holding me up. It's more the turn that's holding me up. And if you want to get technical, um, I think I'm fairly decent with the, with the flows we have. I think the next step. I think the next step is I do the same to the lower branch and see what kind of uh, an increase that gets. And then, of course, I have to go through every single runner, but I haven't finished all the ports on the head yet, so that would uh, have to take more time. And I still may, I still may take this divider and machine it down. Okay. Um, Take a look. Take a look what happened with the swirl. The swirl is up everywhere from the round plenum. Okay. I think that'll work just fine. I think, well, we're probably going to make a spacer up for it anyway. But uh, I think even with this crummy manifold, we'll be able to get where we have to get. All right, guys. Can't think of anything else I had to tell you. Have a good night.